What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 24th tutorial in C++. And in this tutorial, we're going to be covering the do while loop. But you guys probably already knew that because I got a feeling that the title is right above this video. And you know what else I do a lot? I tell you guys, this is probably going to be a short video and I just realized that the time is right under the video. So I don't know why I say those things, but it's habit. I'm going to continue to say those things, so get over it. So anyways, we're going to be covering the do while loop in this tutorial. And if you remember from, I don't know, however many tutorials those go, I talked to you guys about the while loop. And the while loop was basically a loop that you had a test, and if that test was true, then you ran a bit of code inside. While the do while loop is basically the while loop flipped upside down. What the do while loop does is it runs the bit of code first and then it runs the test. So let's go ahead and let me show it to you guys and you guys will understand better what it means. Let's go ahead and get a counting variable called x and set it equal to 1. This is our starting point. Now the syntax for a do while loop is do and then you go ahead and add some code in the body. So let's just go ahead and print out x and then after this we need to increment x or else the loops gonna run forever so x plus plus and now after the body immediately after it you write while and then after this you have your test ended with a semicolon a lot of people forget that semicolon because in basic while loop there is no semicolon if it's not in the body so don't forget to put this semicolon right here so let's give it a simple test like x is less than 10 now go ahead and run this and check it out just like the while loop, it ran the same bit of code, printed out x on the screen, from 1 all the way to 9. Pretty cool, huh? So we're saying, alright, a couple of things are kind of weird here. First of all, why is this loop even useful? Because it seems like a bad while loop, because isn't the point of a loop to run the test first? And if the test is true, then run the bit of code. But if it's false, then don't run the bit of code. Well, people use do loop mainly for this reason. Whenever you have code in here and you need it to run at least one time, it's guaranteed to run at least that one time. And the reason is this. Say you have a test that is false, like 99. Well, this test is going to come false as soon as it hits it. 99 is not less than 10. 99 is a whole lot bigger than 10. So whenever you run this, it's just going to print out 99. So as you can see, it ensures that you run your code at least one time before testing it at all. So no matter what this value is, it's going to do it one time and then test it. So whenever you want to run your code, guarantee that it runs at least one time, this is what you do. So that's the main reason that people uh, use a do while loop to ensure their code runs at least one time. Again, if you have a basic uh, program and you just want to loop it normally, your best bet is to run the while loop or the for loop because those are your basic loops where you test it and then depending on the test, you run your program. So again, this is basically a weird uh, kind of loop. This is probably the most uncommon loop, but whenever you come across it, I wanted you guys to pick up on it, understand what it's doing, and why some people prefer it over the while loop. So now that you have knowledge of the do while loop, and you guys know that it's really not that common um, in programming, so you don't want to use it that often, you at least know what it does and how it, I was going to say how it worked. Well, yeah, that makes sense, and how it works. So anyways, that's all I have to cover for the do while loop. Pretty simple. Basically, a while loop flipped upside down. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and yep, I'll see you in the next video.